everybody, it's Linnea, and today I am playing with the Handyman pack from Some More Fun. So I am really excited to be guest designing once again. I guest designed last month for the Ghost pack, and then again this month for the Handyman pack. I do want to remind you of a couple things. There are only 30 of these Handyman packs available, and the value really is amazing. So if you like the products in this pack, you're going to want to make sure that you head over to the link in my description below and pick yours up because they will not be restocked. And although you can buy these stamps separately, you can't get the pattern papers or the whole kit together. It won't be restocked. So I'm just kind of showing you everything that's included here. You're going to get um, six wood grain envelopes, three white card bases, and three wood grain card bases. And then there's two different packs of pattern paper. Each one has the same five patterns, but one is six by six and one is slim line size, three and a half by eight and a half. Then there are also two uh, four by six stamp sets included in this handyman pack. On the left there with the workbench is handyman. On the right with all the tools is the nailed it stamp set. So really a great, great value. This kit um, is sold on the Some More Fun website. Again, link is below. And the regular retail price, if you were to purchase things separately, would be about $40, but the pack price is $29.99. Okay, so let's jump in. I am going to be creating three clean and simple, very easy cards that are masculine. So I'm going to start, I have a piece of watercolor cardstock here. I stamped and colored and cut out that level, and then I stamped a coordinating sentiment, and I'm working on watercolor cardstock. I mixed up some gray watercolor, and I'm just going to be using my T-square ruler to create a, an easy striped background. Now, I did start with my T-square ruler to make sure that I got my stripes absolutely straight, but it wasn't really working for me. I realized that the edge of my ruler was kind of dipping into my watercolor and I was afraid that it was going to spread into areas on my card where I didn't want color to be. So once I got just a couple stripes down here, I ended up just going and eyeballing it. I have, I believe this is a half inch flat watercolor brush and I'm just going to create easy stripes above and below the sentiment. This is a really easy design and something that I like to do. I like to freehand my own dots or stripes on the background. I think that it's classic, but it's still easy. So that is card number one. I'm going to move on to both cards two and three here. I'm going to stamp out a bunch of um, images from both of the stamp sets, both the Handyman and the Nailed It stamp set. And my idea for the second card kind of changed as I was working on it. So right now I'm using that wood uh, plank, I guess you could call it, from the Handyman stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp this repeatedly across a piece of Nina cardstock so that I can do some Copic coloring. I wish that I had kind of bumped these little wood planks closer together. I moved my paper three quarters of an inch up each time I stamped, and I think I could have gotten away with doing it half an inch, but in the end, I made it work. So I'm going to use a couple of Copic markers here and just really easily, really simply color in these wood planks. I'm just adding some stripes, you could definitely go in with more precise shading and blending, but this is going to be a background, and so I didn't really think it was necessary, so I just kind of added some random stripes of my darker marker, the E37. I'm going to color over that with the YR27, and then I'll just go back in with that darker color and kind of re-highlight those darker areas. Now I have a bunch of images stamped out. I have that workbench from the Handyman stamp set and then a bunch of the tools from the Nailed It stamp set. And I'm just going to again color these in with Copics very easily and very simply. I had thought that I would use all of these images together, the background, the workbench, and the, the three tools that I have here, and it just ended up being too much. But that's okay, I ended up able to get a third card out of these images that I colored. So I cut them out when I was done, and I have that workbench on top of my wood plank background. 
And my idea was to layer this on top of an additional piece of pattern paper. So I'm just looking through these six by six pattern paper packs and I chose to go with this uh, square one. So I trimmed that down. But as I was working with it, I thought that I liked just the workbench on it, and I didn't really like that wood plank background. So I decided to eliminate that, and I will use it in my third card instead. I'm going to just add a sentiment onto this pattern paper. I'm using an ink that dries fast so that it won't smudge on the paper. And then I'll add that workbench on top of that with some foam tape, and that is card number two. For card number three, I'm going to be using those leftover pieces, so that wood plank background, as well as the, um, the little power tools and the hammer and the level here, or the corner ruler. I'm not sure what that's called. I'm clearly not a handyman. <laughs> I'm just going to arrange all of these onto my uh, stamped pattern paper background. And I'm going to look through here and see if I want to add another pattern paper backer to this. And then I remembered that there are these fabulous wood grain card bases included in the handyman pack. So I just used some foam tape and I put my plank background onto that wood grain card base and stamped a sentiment that just says happy birthday. Just a simple masculine birthday card. I really struggle with those. So this is a perfect simple card design. Then I'm going to add those handyman tools right on top, and that's going to finish this card. So there you have it, three quick and easy handyman cards using the handyman pack. Remember that, that I will leave that link down in the video description below. There are only 30 of these packs, and they will not be restocked. So if you love these cute little handyman images, run over to the Some More Fun shop and grab yours. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you were inspired. And I'll see you again soon. Bye. Thank you again very much for watching this video. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button that is on the screen now. And here are a few other videos that I thought you might enjoy.